All right, so in this next part of um, the webinar tonight, what I want to do is I want to walk into uh, doing something called what's called a background sequence. And what exactly is a background sequence? Well, a background sequence is something that you want to play regardless if there were sequences playing or not. Now, what I learned is that I have I, I have uh, tune two signs. If if you have a tune two sign, you could, if you only have one tune two sign, you're wrong. Let me let me tell you right away, you're wrong. You need like ten tune two signs. I have like five on my house, and people still ask me what to tune into whenever they show up at my house. Uh, it's kind of funny, but I, I put I put two in, one in my neighbor's yard, one in my other neighbor's yard, and then I have three more on the house in different places. So no matter where you look, and no matter where you're sitting in the seated in the car, you can see a tune two sign with tune into my FM station. Blah blah blah. So what did I do? I physically created. A sequence. Uh, I guess this is this is where X lights does come in kind of handy. I created a background sequence, uh, and it's not a background sequence. It's just a it's just a sequence like any other sequence. The only difference is uh, is that um, I call it tune to background, and there is nothing fancy about this sequence. It literally is just the text effect and it's literally located on my p10s so i can render it real quick and bring up my house preview and if i click on these you'll get to see them so like i said i have tune two signs everywhere like i, I nobody has enough tune two signs i have tune two 100.3 fm fm 100.3 fm 100 i mean that's that's literally what goes on all of them so i have one over here in my neighbor's yard that plays um I, I probably should clean this up a little bit better, but once I got this going, this literally is only a 30 second sequence. And whenever I, once I got it all set up and I saved it, it created the FSEQ, right? So, so now, now we need to tell X schedule, Hey, I've got a background sequence that I want to play on all of during the entire show any time that there is a show scheduled. And so to do that, you physically have to create another playlist. And what we'll do is we will add another playlist. I actually, um, I don't think you need a, um, I, don't, you, I don't think it needs to be advanced, but uh, we'll, we'll check that. So I created the background and I'm gonna add my FSEQ and I'm looking for, um, there it is. Tune two. Tune two background. So this is all I'm doing. I'm just adding this. Now the the second thing that we have to do is we have to edit this. And when we click on edit, we can assign a playlist. So this is a playlist. This isn't a schedule. This is a schedule. This is a playlist. If it's out here to the left, if it's not indented. It's an actual playlist. So you have to click on the playlist and click the edit button. And whenever you do, you click on background sequence and um, you select the one that you want to always play in the background. Okay. So I called it background. I'm selecting background. That's the name of the playlist. And so right now, even though even though there is nothing being output from X schedule, well, it, it's outputting this show. Even though this show is going on, this background sequence is now playing. Like it's there, it's there. So one of the other things too that I had to do, and I had to play with this, uh, and uh, see how this says model blending overwrite. I, I used overwrite, but sometimes I, my old sequences, and I, I did have to go back, I'll be honest, I, I did have to go back into, um, inside my show folder here, uh, this this sequence does live here. So, like, this is here, and it's reading it from the Tune 2, the, the Tune 2 background. It's in my show folder. So, I, I guess it doesn't really matter which folder it's in. It's not playing any music. But in the, but... But for whatever reason, some of my other sequences, let's say I mapped them in from last year. Well, last year I was physically sequencing inside my sequence, putting tune to 100.3 FM on all of those. I went and manually did that. 
And I said, nope, you know what? This year I am, I'm going to use it as a background sequence. And so thus, that's why we're making this video. So if anybody wants to go in and create a background sequence, this is how you do it for your show. You, you physically go create your sequence. You put it on the props only that you want it to be on. And then whenever you sequence your show, you don't sequence on those props that you've sequenced your background on. So if you don't have any data there, you don't have to worry about this blend mode. Uh, if you sequence on them, you, you want to use overwrite so that this tune to overwrites whatever effects went on to that panel or that matrix or whatever for your tune to. So as far as X lights is concerned, anytime there is a physical schedule that is physically playing, the background will automatically turn on. So you can't see it, but it's running. And, uh, and, and you're not going to believe me until you physically do this for yourself. I mean, I could, I could uh, bring up my actual, my actual show here. Uh, so this is my real show. There's my background sequence. Uh, I did change the blend mode because I was having issues with it. Uh, but in any event, um, it still worked. Uh, it, it, it said overwrite if zero. I, I did change that. But I realized that um, after I had switched this, from overwrite of zero, I could I could run this at uh, overwrite right now, and it's not going to matter because none of my sequences no longer have those. Um, uh, none of my sequences have any sequencing on the matrix panel, so it's not having to overwrite or blend. But you can do some blending if you want the tune two to be there and effects to show up in the background. You can blend those using that blend mode. That's what that is for. So with that. Um, I am going to pause and stop right there for a second. And if you have any questions, by all means, uh, go ahead and put your hand up.